and my new salmon from petbugs.fira.fira and forever pet shop um, these babies were actually born here in the pet shop it's a very cool scorpion now excuse me I can't pronounce the name it's a P Ocrasius or Acreus I'm gonna write the name in, des in the description I've actually for some reason that's one name that I've been never been able to to pronounce but what interest was interesting is you get these species all over South Africa especially Pretoria and in the wild there's probably no more males left because these scorpions the females breed with themselves and then all the babies will be females as well so they don't need a male to fertilize them so you can only buy a female and then you will keep getting babies all the time because she will basically mate with herself if you can put it like that but um, look how cute they are they are so tiny and gorgeous these are one of my, my favorites because um, they're very hardy scorpions and like I said you get them all over South Africa they are legal to keep and they're not um, deadly it's like a, like they, they are venomous like all scorpions and spiders do have a little bit of venom but um, they, it won't kill you unless you're allergic to it I don't know maybe <laughs> but anyway just look how cute they are. I've zoomed in so much look how big my finger is look how big the scorpion is and then look at the little babies. They are so, so amazing. I'm always fascinated with any species that can that can reproduce by themselves. Sorry, I just want to get a roach. My camera is going to wobble a bit. This is a, it's a really, really, really cool little scorp. It looks like she's got five babies there going. Come on, mommy. Get that roach. You get that roach. But yeah, anyways, I'm going to put the name, the genus and species in the description. So you can look it up and read up a bit on it. There's not very much information. Um, a few years back, I actually told somebody about this. And they said, um, no, it's impossible. Um... And then eventually, after a while, all the experts also said, hey, but um, I think she was right. The scorpion is mating by themselves. Because I told them, and they said, no, it's not possible. Um, it probably was mated in the wild, but I said, but it's had their first clutch of babies now, so it couldn't have. Um, and then eventually people actually found out, hey, but the scorpion is mating with himself. I actually think I told it to, to Jonathan Lehman, I think, if I'm correct. I said to him, this, this scorpion is mating by itself. But yeah, I'll go read up a bit on it. It's a really cool scorpion.